Good morning, adventurers. We are leaving Berlin this morning. We got up bright and early for uh, an early-ish flight over to Latvia. We've actually never been to Latvia, so we're pretty excited. We're gonna yeah. spend some time in the town of Riga, and then we're gonna head outside of Riga a bit, aren't we? Yes, we'll be going to a couple of small towns nearby. I'm pretty, pretty stoked to see the countryside of Latvia. It's gonna be pretty cool. By the way, we wanted to give one last shout out to the uh, Airbnb we've been staying in. Um, if you haven't seen it, go watch our last few videos. It was this awesome couple little like uh, tiny houses around the city of Berlin. But uh, they're really cool. We'll have a link in the description where you can book an Airbnb and get a discount if it's your first time. All right, Riga, here we come. So a quick update, you guys. We are not doing very good on time. What time is it right now? It's 8.30 and our flight leaves at 10.10 and it takes an hour to get to the airport. It's so, not ideal. <laughs> plus we're flying freaking Ryanair and they require an all non-EU uh, passport holders to get their boarding pass validated or, or stamped, like stamped or something before you get on the flight. Yeah, so that means we have to go to the counter even though we have our boarding passes yes. printed and we're not checking bags, which is not great. No, but also another thing to note with Ryanair, you have to print your boarding pass beforehand, otherwise I think it's 15 uh, euros yeah. to print it at the airport, Printing which is fee. just Average. insane. We're on the train at least. Well, Step one. the wrong train, but we're hoping we can make a connection and get to the airport. Okay, train number one is down. We are in the middle of somewhere. Where are we? <laughs> We're literally in the middle of nowhere. There's nothing around here. And this this is the smallest station I've ever seen. It's literally just one platform and nothing. There's but not we saw a sign. Yeah. We saw a sign that says that there's a train to the airport coming in two minutes. So we are doing all right. We're fine. That's what I keep telling. <laughs> We're fine. Yeah, now you're catching up. We're fine. <laughs> All right, we've made it to the airport. We've got about 45 minutes until the gate closes. We've got to blaze through security. We've got to do the whole Ryanair stamp thing, and then we're on our way. Okay, good news is, it turns out we didn't need to get the special uh, uh, stamp, but the bad news is there's a gigantic security line here. We made it through security relatively quickly. Turns out that big line wasn't it. It was a different security line, but we are still very late. I think our gate is already closed. <laughs> and we haven't eaten food. Yeah, we haven't eaten anything, so hopefully our flight hasn't left yet. I think this is us. People are still queuing, that's good. All right, we are in line for the plane. Allison had to go around to the back of the plane. Unfortunately, we all have different seats. But Nikita and I are close together. Sorry, I think this is me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Riga Nice year. The schedule time is local timing. 20 minutes to one. Please remain seated with your seatbelt. Safety fast and your day. Grab a complete list of seatbelts. I can fix it up for you. How was the flight? Not too bad. Not too bad? Yeah, how about you? <clears throat> Pretty good. So the scenery flying in was amazing, but I couldn't really get many shots of it because I was kind of squanched between two people. <laughs> Not the most enjoyable flight, but luckily, luckily it was pretty short. <laughs> It looks like Nikita's mouthwash exploded. Yeah, this, this bottle is completely <laughs> empty and it, everything is wet. And you can see this big old wet spot up here. That's no good. But the silver lining is that we all took our laptops out of our bags. Yeah. We grabbed ourselves a crappy little sandwich to split because we have not had anything to eat today no. at all. Not at all. It was really hot. It actually looks it pretty good. It's got no, a... It's chorizo apparently. Oh, nice. And I thought that was... Oh, it is chicken. Chicken and chorizo and cheese and spinach. Meat for days. All right. Honestly, anything. Just hitting the spot at this point. I'm so hungry. <laughs> now we're just looking for the bus to take us into the town of Riga. And I think the bus stop is over here somewhere. Uh oh. Is that oh, it? I think <laughs> that's it. Shoot. 
We are in downtown Riga now. We're just waiting for another bus. How you guys feel? <laughs> Good. Good. Less hungry. Yeah, less hungry now. More thirsty, though, definitely. <laughs> this boy was just telling us that this really reminds him of Russia. Yeah, quite a bit. Pretty, pretty cool. Pretty interesting. A lot of memories. So, we missed the bus stop because nobody would get out of our way on the bus. So now we have about a mile walk ahead of us <laughs> with all of our luggage. Yeah. But at least it stopped raining. to the crypt. <laughs> this place has got a lot of charm. <laughs> I'll just say it that way. Uh, medieval, like, killing hole charm. <laughs> oh, check this out. Well, our Airbnb is supposed to be in here somewhere. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. <sighs> Holy smokes. Whoa, snap. Wow. This is very cool. You guys, this place is super fly. Check it out. Yeah. Set up all nice like. The outside would lead you to believe that it's a little bit older, yeah. but this is yeah. cool. With the exposed brick. Oh, cool. Not bad at all. So we got all settled in, but we are we haven't really had much to eat today, so we're gonna go to the store, grab something to probably just make here. We're also gonna get some milk because we've been carrying around our own little packets of uh, like instant coffee. Yeah, why have we never done this before? Our last place had those little espresso packets and they're a life changer because yeah. you make them and then you don't have to spend all your money on lattes. Yeah, because you guys, we are spending way too much money on coffee. I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah, but European lattes are like four bucks a pop, like yeah, four crazy. USD, it's insane. The place we're staying at is super secure. They've got this gate system here. They've got two different doors that you have to unlock with four different keys to get to our place. So, well, and one at the bottom of the stairs too yeah. to get into the building. Yeah. So, nobody's getting our stuff. Yeah. By the way, um, all the Airbnbs we're staying in, we're going to be linking to in the description below, like usual. So you can book this place. You can also get a discount, like we mentioned earlier, if you book through our link below. Check it out. We just noticed this building. So uh, the roof is completely gone. I think it caught on fire or something. It looks pretty torn up. There's a lot of buildings around here that kind of resemble this one with like the wood facade. And the next two you have kind of a similar style, but it's all stone and plaster and brick. So we took a little trip to the store, got a backpack full of awesome goodies and some dinner for tonight. And we also found the most affordable sushi Amy we could find. Right. Two right. euro 47, two euro 57, what, two euro eight. And look at all the fish that's in this. That's all raw salmon. That's crazy. It's amazing. Pretty good deal. Oh yeah. So now we're just chilling in the park. We're gonna eat it because we're freaking starving. It's good, it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Does it taste like uh, uh, $2.50 sushi? Two euro 50. I mean, the salmon's awesome, but it's got like little pickled peppers all over it. And then, I think there's a, I think that's a pepper in there, and then, uh, cream cheese. Yeah. <laughs> it's very, It's very an odd unique. combination. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what this, uh, salmon avocado is about. It's pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, it's salmon avocado and cream cheese. Can't and as long out. as you put the cream cheese in there, <laughs> it tastes pretty dang good. Nice. Yep, the fish is actually pretty fresh. Not right? too bad. Not too bad, Latvia. Yeah. Ah, B really wants my sushi. Get out of here. Get, get, ah! get off. Oh. Jeez, dude. Oh, I'm running. We came back to our Airbnb, we've just been chilling here in this awesome kitchen area, getting a whole lot of work done because we are way behind. I'm actually, I'm back in this uh, terrible groove where I'm uh, editing the vlog and then uploading it that day. So I'm literally like, just finished the edit, just uploaded it, and it's about to go live right now. But luckily, the time change works in your favor, so you have a little more time. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> also, we've been listening to some Iggy Azalea. Oh yeah. Rocking out. 
But anyways, Allison made some amazing broccoli pasta. We've got some pepper in there. What else do we put in there? Brussels Spinach, sprouts. Brussels sprouts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we haven't been able to find Brussels sprouts in a while. Berlin didn't really have any, so yeah, that's true. we stocked up. But Man, it looks, looks freaking awesome. We put some uh, cheese on top. We weren't sure what kind of cheese it was, but it said uh, Latvian on so, it. We'll it's kind of like Parmesan-ish, so yeah. I figured it's appropriate. It's pretty dang good. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna do this and watch a movie. Yeah, but tomorrow we are going to explore some Latvian markets yes. and get some delicious food. We have a lot of Latvian food days coming up, yeah. so we're excited to see what's in store and to show it off to you guys. I guess we'll leave y'all here. Good night, adventurers. We'll see you on the road.